Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how my frame for my CNC testing rig is going together. What I did, for starters, was cut several strips, 2 and 3 16, 2 and 3 eighths of an inch wide, by 48 and 18. My cardboard's only 48 wide, so I had to do a three-layer sandwich, alternating my seams. So I've got a three-layered one here. I've got then a two-layered one that's going to go across the back, and it's going to form an L shape. Then the purpose of this is the L is going to hold my second threaded rod, which is going to rest, you know, on top just like this. This thing will be two inches square in the center. I've got this square block that's going to sit at one end about four inches away. I'm working on drilling a hole in it, and that's where the motor shaft is going to come through. I have made a rolled paper bushing that's going to fit inside there, and it's just about a hundredth of an inch bigger than my threaded rod over there. So this all get put together. It's going to look something like this. It'll basically be a U-channel, and then a very similar one will be 90 degrees to that sticking out of the front and that'll hold the y-axis set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing glued together and then we're going to go from there. My stepper motor arrived yesterday so now I've got two so I'm going to go ahead now and put together my CNC frame on the x-axis. I've got two sandwiches here which are each three thick so I'm just going to line them up Make sure that I've got my seams alternating. So I'm going to go like that, I guess. We'll glue it up. I haven't really thought about how I'm going to clamp this. So I guess what I'll do is set it up against this table and that'll hold the back upright because I know this is square. And then I'll also put one of my little blocks in for my motor support as well because I know those are square. Okay, that ought to do it. It'll probably be good enough to handle within the next, oh, 20 minutes or so. Well, I've got my CNC x-axis frame mounted to the top of the board. That tab that you just saw me glue on there simply slips behind the board, and this keeps it nice and sturdy up there. The stepper is housed on that end. My rod goes across. You can see right here the little carriage that's going to attach to my y-axis beam that's going to come down this way. And then, of course, it uh, rotates in that bushing over there. You'll notice that the screw sags. That's really not a problem for this, because as the carriage traverses 
the uh, frame there, the rod will come up to where it should be. So that's not a problem. Uh, right now I'm working on the x-axis or the y-axis frame that's going to hang from my carriage and it'll be the, roughly the same length so I'll have nearly the entire board here to write on. So I'm going to go ahead now and get that thing glued up.